Um, in this second tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a summary of all the various different grades and basically a performance chart for all the pupils across all the classes here. You'll notice I've just added a little bit of conditional formatting here to column J so that if pupils are underperforming in terms of value added, they turn red. If they're overperforming, they will turn green. Um, the sheet we're going to work on is the summary worksheet. And here we're just going to use very simple um, count ifs to look up the number of grade A stars and so on. So what I'll do, select uh, cell B1, insert my count if. If you're not sure how to use count ifs, you should go back and have a look at the intermediate skill level set. Um, or you can just follow this through really. Count if, okay. Um, range, where am I going to look? Well, I'm looking in the results tab and I'm looking in column G where all my grades are. There we go. And criteria, I want to look for for A stars. It was A plus. Now at the moment, it's telling me there's nothing there. So I'm going to try putting that in speech marks because, like I said earlier, sometimes it doesn't recommend to recognize A plus as text. Yeah, that's fixed it. Click OK. There's one A star. Now, if you replicate this down, if you try and fill this down, it's going to add one to G2 and one to G16. So what I'm going to do to stop that happening is make these what we call absolute cell references by putting dollar signs in front of the letter and the number of each of the cell references. Once that is done, I should be able to auto fill that down there. And all I do then is change what I'm looking for. We're looking for A plus there. This one they're looking for A. This one they're looking for B's. This one we're looking for C's. There we go. Two C's, two B's, two A's. And there we just pop a quick sum function in. There we go. To add up the number of pass grades we've got. Let me just format that to make it a bit more user friendly. There we are. Now, in terms of predicted C, you could repeat the process. Instead of looking at grade, you should look at predicted grade. Then you'd be able to create, um, then you'd be able to fill this in here. Now, what we could do is insert some extra rows there, fill in the data, rewrite the count ifs again, and when we're done with it, if we don't want to see it, we'll just right click and hide those cells. So I'm going to go and expand this spreadsheet and do what I've just said now. I'll come back to you when I'm showing you what I mean about hiding it. So I'll just pause this now. There we go, you can see that I've just filled in the predicted grades using column F in my countif function rather than column G. That means that I was looking at predicted grades rather than grades. Um, and I've just highlighted them in different colours so you can see. The only other thing I'm going to do is highlight predicted here because that's not really, I don't really need that, I just need it working away in the background. Right click and hide those. So now what I can do is put in something called performance or something similar and just subtract. Once again you can conditional format this to change the colour, draw attention to it any way you like. There we go. So have a go at using count ifs to count up the number of grades and come up with a performance data.